Hey, welcome to the beautiful Majestic Colonial here in Punta Cana. In this video, we're going to give you a complete tour of the resort. So if you're planning on coming here, you'll know what to expect. So when you first arrive from the airport, you'll be brought up to the main entrance here. And there are many options to uh, get from the airport to here. Go Majestic is their own transportation that you can arrange for a fee. We tend to use Diamond Transport, which has worked out very well with multiple trips here. And uh, I'll put a link below to uh, their uh, website to uh, uh, book them through Viatar. So you'll pull up here and they'll come and take your bags and then it's time to check in. So here's the uh, main lobby where you check in. If you're a club member, you'll go over to the rooms to the right and you'll have a private check-in. If you're not a club member, you'll check in at the main desk over there. And we'll explain club and non-club rooms uh, as we go through this video. Up on this level, you'll also find the piano bar and a great place to relax, as you can see. And right around from the piano bar, there is a coffee machine here that you can get coffee whenever you like. And we often come up here early in the morning, get a cup of coffee and to have a little uh, croissant. Now, as you walk a little further, you'll come to the grand staircase. And this overlooks the main lobby bar where everybody hangs out in the evening. And this is, as you can imagine, this is all lit up at night. And it's a great place to hang out before or after dinner. Now as you go down the staircase, make sure you look behind the staircase because three of the restaurants are here. So back over here we have the Japanese grill and we're going to do a complete review of all the restaurants. Now we were here a couple nights ago and this was a great place. And there's restrooms here, elevator to get up and down those stairs. And here is the French Gourmet. And this is a specialty bar where they make specialty drinks at night. Again, this is the entrance to the French Gourmet. And to the right of that is their Caribbean, Mexican, Dominican type restaurant. So I should add that the uh, Majestic Colonia was built in 2005 and then remodeled in 2017. We came here probably 11, 12 years ago when our kids were little. Uh, and this is something new that they've added. Um, an outdoor seating, seating area that's off the main lobby bar. And they have this on both sides. And this is really nice. Come out when it's not raining and uh, have a nice drink before dinner or after dinner. It's a great place to hang out. But as I said before, it's also great just to sit by the main lobby bar. They'll make whatever drink you want. Remember, it's all inclusive. So if you want it, they'll make it for you and there's no extra charge. Now let's walk outside here and start to show you the resort. Now take a right as you come out of the main lobby bar and walk along this pathway. One thing you'll notice that everything is covered. So if you're trying to get from your room to this area that you just saw and it's raining, you're not going to get wet. You're completely covered. Now at the end of that walkway, you'll find what they call the Caribbean Street. And uh, they have vendors here every Thursday from 3 to 9. Well, they'll set up uh, their, their wares, clothing, jewelry. And to the left is their theater. And it's a good sized theater, you can see. And there's a bar here. There are bars everywhere. Now back on the uh, Caribbean Street, as we're walking along, you see there's a lot of shops here. And something you should know, the uh, Caribbean Street that we're on is shared by all three Majestic Resorts. The Mirage, the Majestic Colonial, which we're here, and also the Majestic Elegance. They can all come over and use this, come to the street and uh, go shopping here. But it's more than just shopping. They have a late night snack area that all three resorts can use called the Mick Jestic. And there's a sports bar too. And there's more. Also on this Caribbean street you'll find the casino. Again, 
This is shared by all three Majestic Resorts. And this is open uh, late in the day and of course at night. And if you walk this way, this will actually bring you to the Majestic Elegance, which is right next door. But before you get there, you'll get to the nightclub. And this is a disco nightclub that's opened late at night through the evening into the night. And again, all three resorts can use this. In the same area, you'll also find the Splash Club for kids, which kids from all three Majestic resorts can use free of charge. So the Kids Splash Club is located at the end of the Caribbean Street, right by the casino, and it's right over here. It's complete with a water slide and a splash pool. What kid wouldn't like that? Now, for those that like to work out on vacation, right off of Caribbean Street, you'll also find the Majestic Colonials Fitness Center. All right, so let's leave Caribbean Street here and show you how the rooms are set up, the pools, and of course the beach. But before we do that, let me show you two things. Right at the end of Caribbean Street, near the first section of rooms, there's actually a small Catholic church that actually has Catholic Mass here Saturdays at 6 p.m. And right adjacent to the uh, main lobby bar, this is outdoor, outdoor Plaza. There's a bar here in the evening. They have music on the stage over there. And it's a really nice place to hang out after supper. So what they do is they'll have bands here with dancing, um, usually in the evening up till around 9 p.m. And then they move the entertainment over to the main theater where they'll have their nightly show. And also, adjacent to the main lobby bar, you'll find the main buffet for the resort. It's called the Supreme, and they're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I guess that was three extra things, oh well. Well, let's move on and let me show you how the rooms are, the pool, and uh, what to, to expect when you come here. So here's a resort map. Maybe this will help. So on one side, you have all the club rooms. What that means, it's adults only, and they have their own private pool, and they have a private little colonial club place where they can get coffee and food during the day. Over here is the family rooms, and this has the largest pool, as you can see. Now, people from the club can use this pool, but I think the idea is that people from here, from the regular rooms, are not supposed to be hanging out in the club area, because that's for the club members, and definitely no children allowed in the club area. So let's take a walk down through the center of the resort and show you what you're gonna find when you come here. So what you'll find as you walk down the main path is the club rooms are on your right and the non-club rooms are on your left. And again, the non-club rooms are designed for families while the club rooms are designed for couples only. Only adults are allowed on this side of the resort over this hedge. But one thing that I really like about this, this resort is since the Majestic Colonial was opened in 2005, all the vegetation has had time to grow in. Now the palm trees that you see are natural. These lots here before they were developed were just covered in palms and they kept a good uh, percentage of them. But you can see how beautiful it is with all the vegetation. I mean, what about, what about the bar? Now you'll find bars scattered everywhere. Let's go over and take a look at the first bar we come to. This is an outdoor bar that's near the main pool. Hola, buen dia. That bar is located right next to the main pool. Take a look. And here's the main uh, pool area that's open to everyone. And you can see it's massive. It runs all along the non-club rooms all the way down to the front of the resort. 
Take a look at this. Let's walk along it and then we'll go over to the uh, club side and show you what to expect over there. Again, this is the non-club side open to everybody. We spent most of our time at this pool further up at the swim up bar, which we'll show you in a minute. And they have these bridges over the uh, pool at different parts to get uh, to your room. But look how nice this pool is. I think it's the best part of the resort. Now one of the options you can get here are swim out rooms, swim out rooms. Here's an example of them over here. And it keeps going. Let's walk up towards the beach. And the pools are surprisingly clean. And they're out here in the morning and after the pool closes at 6 p.m. It does close at 6 p.m. But they're out here working hard to uh, keep it in pristine shape. On adjacent to the main pool, they do have a spa. So if you want to come for a spa treatment, facial, massage, it's the building right behind me. Now let's walk over this bridge and I'll show you the main pool bar. Where this is where everyone hangs out during the day. And the animation team is always really, really active here. And during the day they'll have foam parties here and other activities for the guests just to keep them occupied. But this is where kind of the center of activity is right around here. I love my job. I love my day. I love my boss. So the main pool bar has a dry area up here. Hola. Buen dia. And a wet area right down there. And the pool continues. The beach is right up there. You can see it goes on and on. Now before we head down to the beach, let's take a look at the club side of the resort. Let's sneak in there and take a look. Shh, don't tell anyone. So this is the Colonial Club. And you can see they have their own dedicated pool, but it's a lot smaller. And no kids are allowed here. And this is just for the club members. They do have their own bar here. And this is kind of the quiet area of the resort. Now, as a club member, when you get a club room, that's all you do is just, if you want this, just get the club room, which is adults only. You do, you do have a butler, and they will make your dinner reservations and do everything that needs to be done. If you don't have a club room and want dinner reservations, just go to guest services in the main lobby, and that's how you make your dinner reservations. So you do have a butler, that's one perk. You are allowed to have breakfast in some of the specialty restaurants, another perk. But when we've done the club level, what we like, is that they have a dedicated room uh, between the guest rooms which has coffee and food 24 hours a day that's open and it's air conditioned. Um, here we walked through it a couple days ago, take a look. Like I said, the club lounge is found in the middle of the club section of the resort. They have not only a place to sit and relax, but also on one side you can get food, drink and coffee. Okay, so let's move on to the beach. The reason that everyone comes here, but before we get there, you see this building right here that's on the water, on the beach? That's another one of the restaurants. This is the Seafood and Steakhouse. Now, they used to be two separate restaurants, but now they're combined into one. So you can go in there, one menu, you can order steak, or you can order seafood. Um, and this is right on the water. It's a great location. So it's literally right there. And the beach is right over there. So the restaurant behind us also serves lunch. You can go in there with your bathing suit as long as it's dry and as long as you have a shirt on and for women a cover-up. Um, and that's a popular spot. People are on the beach. It's lunchtime to go over there, grab a bite to eat. And um, we've been there. The food's pretty good. They have a lot, a lot of choices. So let's take a look at the beach. It's a beautiful beach. It's pretty big. A couple of years ago it seemed to have gotten smaller, but I think more sand is washed down here and there's plenty of chairs to sit on. We've never had trouble finding a chair. They got plenty of plenty of options, plenty of chairs. And look how big, look how big this beach is. 
Now, if you do come here and like to walk the beach, come out of the resort, make a left, and walk all the way down to the Hard Rock Cafe. It's a nice walk, but don't go past the uh, hotels when you make a left uh, because they say it may, it may not be safe. You can also go up to the, to the right as you face the water, and there's hotels up there, but it's a little more crowded up there, so it's harder to walk the beach, so we prefer to go to the left. Now, when you hang a left and walk towards the Hard Rock Resort, you'll see in the distance a high-rise under construction. You can see it there in front of you, and that's going to be the new Moon Palace Resort. It's supposedly going to be all-inclusive and very refined. But look how nice this water is. And they do come by and clean up the seaweed every morning with a tractor. Uh, but there hasn't been much seaweed, and we're here at the uh, end of August. Now, one other perk of being uh, at a club room is that you have a roped off area, which is your own private beach. No kids are allowed to come on that section of the beach. Let me show you. That's right. Those in the club room have their own private beach, and there are no kids allowed. So for this trip, we picked non-club, family side, ocean view room. Let's go upstairs and let me show you. So our room's in the corner straight ahead there. We have a good view of the pool and also the water. And we kind of spend a lot of time down here at this end of the pool and then swim over to the pool bar down there where we want to drink. Now these buildings have stairs, of course, but also elevators. Oh, and here's something that I like. To get in and out of your room, they give you a wristband that has a chip in it. Take the wristband, put it against the door, and it unlocks. It's magic. So here's our room. This is a standard room. Most of the rooms look like this. They have plenty of storage space. There's a safe, TV, bed. Let's look outside. And there's Sue. Good morning. And it looks like while I was out there working my butt off showing you what the hotel looks like, Sue was ordering room service and got some coffee. And room service is included up to 11 p.m. But I read somewhere that after 11 p.m. there might be a charge. In your room, there's a QR code you can scan to get the uh, room service menu. Let's take a walk outside here. And here's our balcony. And here's our view. You can see the ocean over there. There's the beginning of the pool. There's the pool bar right over there. But um, it's a beautiful spot. So that completes our look at the Majestic Colonial here in Putacana. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And we'll end this video with a quick look at some of the activities and what goes on during the day. What we found is the staff that makes us a great vacation spot. Welcome to the Majestic family. <laughs> Until next time, safe travels.